What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing another Fallout 4 Creation Club video and in this video I'm going to be talking about my complete mod list slash you know creations that I have purchased um, in the Creation Club. Pretty much my whole list. I know you know I did a, a mod list for my you know PS4 uh, PC I think I did as well and I thought I'd talk about you know the creations that I have downloaded because yeah I have downloaded quite a bit of them and you know some people were wondering with my mod list i think there i don't know if there were really anyone with this one but i thought i'd just talk about it anyway and yeah i'm pretty sure i pretty much got like at least 75 percent or even more of the creation club so pretty much the first thing we're going to be starting off with is the anti-material rifle and one of the first reasons i actually uh purchased this one i believe it could have been on special you know a couple of these i got because they were on discount, but it's just as well that one of the most favorite things from the Creation Club is when they actually do affect the normal vanilla Fallout 4 game. For example, I believe the anti-material rifle can actually be found in stores and vendors all across the uh, Commonwealth, and I believe that, um, may, I don't know if necessarily enemies or, you know, hostile NPCs, I'm pretty sure they can also have the anti-material rifle. I could be wrong though, but I know you can buy this from vendors and all that type of stuff, which again is just something that I really do like when it does change up the vanilla game of Fallout 4. Now, the next one I got is the Arcade Workshop Pack. Now, I got this when it actually did come out on launch. Um, pretty much, it came out on launch with the uh, Slocum's Joe one, all of those. Uh, I can't really remember what else it was. I know Slocum's Joe and Arcade came out at, like, the exact same time. And, yeah, it's definitely one of the best updates we've got for Fallout 4 Creation Club. So, yeah, I, yeah, I do have the Arcade uh, Cabinets one. I can't remember how much that is, but moving on now, there's the Armor Paint Job Adam Katz, Armor Paint Job Hot Rod Pink um, for the Institute, Minutemen, Vault Tech, and yeah, so these ones... I actually don't have downloaded, so the reason, or installed rather, the reason I don't have these installed is because of the zero kilobyte glitch, now I feel like I've explained this so many times, but every time I explain it, you know, a couple of new people will learn about what the glitch is, pretty much, it's a glitch where if you got skins from the Creation Club on PS4, it can cause this glitch on your game where you can't actually save your game because it says you have zero kilobyte storage left when in fact you probably don't. You probably got more than that and yeah, it's just a occurring glitch that a lot of people do get. I believe it can occasionally happen on Xbox, but if you're on PS4, be very wary of getting skins. But yeah, obviously that's the reason I don't actually have these installed. But yeah, I do actually own them. So if they ever do fix the glitch, I might get them uh, once again. Now the next ones I got is the Black Labrador and the Boxer, two of the dogs in the game. I believe this Black Labrador was actually I got for free. I think I paid the full price for the Boxer. Then we have the CR-74 L Combat Rifle and Capital uh, Wasteland Mercenaries, which were two of um, the new creations in, like, the latest Creation Club update. Again, I believe the CR-74 old combat rifle can be found at vendors all across the Commonwealth. And I'm pretty sure NPCs can be spawned with this as well. Now, the Capital Wasteland Mercenaries, for those of you who don't know what this one is, it's pretty much just, uh, they really remastered, you know, a part of the Fallout 3 map, um, you know, the GNR Plaza, and put it onto Fallout 4, and yeah, it's definitely one of the biggest they've added. It's pretty much the closest to actual DLC, really, that we did get for the Creation Club, and it's definitely one of the best ones out there. Speaking of one of the best ones out there as well, we got Captain Cosmos, which I, yeah, also did get, I think, quite a while now. This is another massive story, similar to the Capital Wasteland Mercenaries. You unlock a new part to the uh, Fallout 4 uh, map, and yeah, you get to explore with kind of a new story. It's kind of a comic book adventure type of thing. It's actually pretty cool, and yeah, I guess I recommend it, even though it's pretty overpriced. I will say that. The next one is Charles Down Condo, which I got a while ago as well, which is just, you know, a player home. There's nothing really too special, although I believe this one is actually quite big. I mean, it's bigger than some of the other ones, so if you're looking for a big player home, that's the one. Now, this is the one that is kind of, you know, changed uh, the uh, Creation Club. A lot of people extremely love this one. It's the Coffee and Donuts Workshop Pack. Now, I actually got this one on launch, I do believe. Um... It's definitely one of my favorite ones that they've added. Pretty much what it adds into the game is um, pretty much Slocum's Joe, which is a coffee and donut um, building around the Commonwealth. And pretty much it allows you to build your own donut shop in the uh, in um, your settlement. You can assign vendors there. You get all new uniforms. And it's like a, like a real like professional thing. And it just reminds me so much of rebuilding the commonwealth after you know the main story is done like if you're into settlement building one of the main goals is to rebuild you know the commonwealth and kind of get that going and i think you know having a store like slocum's joe 
is actually a really cool step and just something that I definitely really like. It makes the Commonwealth look a lot more lived in and like it's been built after. And yeah, it's one of my favorites. It's got a really nice story and some of the coolest um, customizable you know, objects and stuff for our settlements that we have ever gotten. And yeah, it is a fan favorite. It's one of my favorites. And I definitely really like to know what your thoughts and opinions are on this one. If you guys like it and have you guys downloaded it. Again, I'm pretty sure it's like a top three most popular. And yeah, it's definitely one of my favorites. Moving on now, we got the Dalmatian, which is another dog that I bought. We got the Fantasy Hero set, which is just like this little comic book, you know, got Skyrim. A uh, bit of Skyrim stuff on here. Elder Scrolls, obviously. And it, you actually find it in Tuberous Comics. It's like a little cheapish story. It's all right. Golden Retriever, another dog. Graphic T-shirt pack is also one of the best creations they have added onto here as well, in my opinion. Now, this sells for the price of 100 credits, I do believe. And if you see in the bottom left, you actually do start off with 100 credits. So you can pretty much buy this for free. Uh, I do believe you do start off with it. I'm, you know, pretty much on all my accounts I have, but, yeah, the graphic t-shirt pack, reason why it's so cool, it's so cheap, and they add a, you know, 25 new shirts into the Commonwealth, and the reason why I like it, I talked about this before, is because it changes the vanilla Fallout 4, so people who roam around, um, you know, uh, you know, roam around the Commonwealth, do, will actually appear now with these new outfits, and if they come to your settlements and all that type of stuff, they will actually have these new outfits on, and it just gets rid of the boring, bland, generic outfits that already are in the game, and actually spreads these around with it to give a variety of new outfits that settlers can obviously spawn in. So yeah, it's not necessarily where well, I'm going to want to put on these outfits. I couldn't really care about that. It's just that it changes the vanilla Fallout 4, and I can see my settlers wearing different outfits instead of the same outfits, all the time, and yeah, obviously, random NPCs ac uh, across the Commonwealth, I do believe, also can spawn in these as well. Now, moving on to one of the most disappointing ones that I own, is Gunners vs. Minutemen, where pretty much you overtake Quincy. It's pretty bad, I will admit, it's really, really bad, like, it's probably one of the worst ones I've played, due to the fact that you can't actually take Quincy as your own settlement. I know a lot of people have critiqued this one quite a bit, and in my opinion, it's definitely one of the worst ones, and I know the fan base doesn't really like it. The story is pretty cool, but the fact that you can't have Quincy as a settlement is a massive disappointment. I really don't understand that at all. I heard it had something to do with um, ruining uh, kind of the uh, original files to Fallout 4 if they added another settlement or something in. But that doesn't really make too much sense because there's VR workshops. Anyway, I could make a whole different video on really why the Gunners vs. Minutemen is literally terrible. But yeah, I'm pretty sure a lot of people already agree with me, so I'm not too sure. But next one we got is the Handmade Shotgun. Another really cool one due to the fact that it changes up Vanilla Fallout 4 where you can add where these um, get sold as vendors and people, uh, NPCs can actually use these as well and get spawned with them, so that's pretty cool. The Hellfire Power Armor, I'm pretty sure it's actually got a pretty decent quest. If I can remember right, it's actually uh, the one... I can't, I can't remember, I'm pretty sure it's the one where it actually does spawn in one of the um, original factions from Fallout 3. I can't really, um, really remember what faction it was, I have no idea why and it's going to annoy me, but yeah, it does actually do that, and actually, yeah, it does do that, because I know one of the other creations that, oh, it spawns in the Enclave, that's right, because I know other, one of the other ones actually has the uh, Brotherhood of Steel Remnants in it, that's why I was getting confused, but yeah, the Enclave, I do believe, is in this one, so it's pretty cool, adds them to Fallout 4. Then we got the Holiday Workshop Pack, which I guess is alright. Um, the Horsepower Armor, which was one of the first ones they actually uh, added to the Creation Club. Again, it's got a pretty boring quest, just kind of a fetch and receive quest. Again, it was just when the Creation Club came out, so there's not exactly too much to it. Then we got the Manuel Rifle Set, which I'm pretty sure has a really good story as well. I think this is the one where you find the, um, the Radstag, if I'm right. Actually, it might not be. I, I don't really remember, but I know this one does have... A pretty good story, and yeah, actually, it does is the one where you find the glowing Razstag. So yeah, definitely get that if you're interested in a really good story. The military, um, the mod modular military backpack again is regarded as one of the best ones with some of the best um crafting to the backpacks that we have seen. Better than most mods, so yeah, definitely recommend that if you're interested in getting the backpacks. There's the Morgan spacesuit, which I don't really remember exactly too much about. I don't even remember if it has a quest or anything. I think you actually might just get given. The um the the Morgan spacesuit, so it's not exactly too great. We got Neon Flats, which actually has a really cool story of getting a new player home in Good Neighbor. I do believe yeah, it has something to do with the Institute, so it's pretty cool. I do have this installed. I have no idea why it's saying download, but yeah, I do have this installed. And yeah, it's actually pretty cool. It's got a nice retro player home, so it's pretty interesting. We got the Noir Penthouse, which actually has uh 
um, some, it's got some law with a escape Corsa from the Institute, I do believe. So yeah, it's got some Institute law with a couple of these player homes. This is a nice player home as well. I do rate, we've got the Nuka Cola Collector Workshop, which is, it's all right. It's definitely not as good as the other ones, in my opinion. It's pretty small from a remembrance. Now, this is the one that I really don't like for a reason. I've got the Pine Slide Slasher here. I have never been able to play this because of a glitch. So I literally bought this and I could not play it because when I went to one of the places to do something, I couldn't actually activate the quest because of a glitch. And yeah, it's very frustrating. I still can't do it even after getting rid of it and re-downloading it. It's very frustrating. And yeah, again, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I've got it downloaded. Oh, here we go. Well, I'm going to re-download it anyway. And we'll see if I can... Uh, play that a little bit later but yeah anyway moving on we got the pip boy a paint job aquatic camo the grognark um the neon surprise the nuka cola quantum overseas edition patriotic uh pink purple silver shroud um vim refresh uh, aquatic camo pink purple and yeah i don't believe i have any of them downloaded because of that glitch that i didn't mention earlier then we got some weapons we got the prototype gorse rifle which is pretty cool. I think this one can actually be added to, uh, again, you know, settlers and that can have it and it can be sold at vendors. Got the Quake Thunderbolt, which I guess is a, is an alright one. It's actually got a pretty cool story. Um, and then, yeah, moving on to the dog, my favourite dog in the game. We've got the Rot Reeler or Rot Reeler, depends on however you say it. I personally, you know, I really love this one because it's obviously my favourite dog. I've had Rotties my whole life pretty much. So, yeah, again, it's, it's a very cool one in my opinion. I was extremely... Cool to see when they did add that. And actually, one of the names that you can get with the Roddy was actually a name of one of my dogs. So, again, that's a, it's a pretty cool one. I do really like that. We've got the Sentinel Control System Companion, which is the one I do believe had the Brotherhood of Steel Remnants in it. Has a pretty nice quest and gives you a really nice companion with some new power armor paint jobs. So, it's pretty cool. We've got the Settlement Ambush Kit, which is uh, it's an alright one. I mean, the Call of Duty type of style that it does add to it, pretty much it adds waves of enemies that come and spawn at your settlements and stuff and try to attack, uh, attack you and stuff. It's pretty cool. It's a bit overpriced. And yeah, the, the buildings, the workshop items are still pretty cool as well. We got Shred Manor, which is one of the best and biggest player homes, which also has these secret doors in it, which is kind of cool. We got the Tesla Cannon, which is, uh, again, is all right. Got a pretty decent store, I guess. The Transdogrifier, which I've never really used too much, but pretty much you can change what breed uh, your dog is with that. We've got the Tunnel Snakes Rule, which is one of my favorite creations that they have added. Another creation that pretty much changed the Creation Club for a bit and added, you know, bigger DLC-sized creations into it. It's a very cool one, in my opinion. It adds some lore to the, you know, Tunnel Snakes that everyone loved from Fallout 3, pretty much, and adds it into Fallout 4, and you get some really nice new weapons into this game and yeah it's definitely one of the best ones they have added so far the 10 millimeter pistols that you get and the ulti manani i can't even remember how you say it, but the the um the weapon that you do actually get is also extremely cool you know it's pretty much i believe it yeah it's a custom variant of it it's very cool one of the best variant uh weapons that they have added to the game in my opinion there's the vault suit customization, which, again, I haven't really explored too much of. It's just the, you know, man one. If you're looking for some creation club, custom, um, so, uh, for some vault tech customization, you want the Fallout 3 jumpsuits in the game or something like that, I guess that's the one for you. But in my opinion, it's it right. Then we're moving on to the virtual workshops now. We've got Atomic Crater, Desert Island, um, and Virtual Workshop, GNR, and Grid World. Obviously, once you get the VR workshops, it downloads all four of these. And, yeah, again... Another really cool one they have added. Um, hopefully they do add some more VR workshops eventually. Then we got the weapon paint job for Adam Katz, Hot Rod Pink, the Institute, and Vault Tech, which again I don't actually have downloaded due to the four kilobyte glitch. We have the XO2 a power armor, which actually I don't necessarily know. This could have been the um oh this is the Enclave one actually. Never mind, the other one wasn't the Enclave one. Sorry, this is the Enclave one. I can't even really remember what the other one was, but last but not least of my downloads, I've got Zeton Arsenal, which is pretty much um, three customized weapons that come from the Zeton aliens. And yeah, um, it's pretty cool. It's got a really nice story, actually. And yeah, it's kind of nice. And the weapons are obviously pretty cool as well. And it gives you some more alien ammo as well. And a different way, I do believe, to craft the alien ammo. So that's pretty cool. But I'm going to go back right now and actually look at that uh, power armor one because I can't 
remember, yeah, the Hellfire Power Armor. So this actually, I don't think was from the Enclave. This is, uh, I, I don't even know who this was from, but yeah, again, that's my bad. This one's the one from the Enclave over here. So yeah, if you're looking at the Enclave one, it's actually this one. It's the XO2, sorry. So my, my bad. But anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for all the latest Fallout 4 creation club news and all that type of stuff. Just Fallout content in general. Don't forget to comment in the comment section down below. What, what is your thoughts and opinions on this? What do you guys have downloaded? Um, did you guys think I was going to have different stuff downloaded or did you guys think I was going to have more or less? Again, I'd definitely really like to know your thoughts and opinions down below. What is your favorite creations they have added to the Creation Club? Again, I'd definitely really like to know all of that stuff down below. And yeah, obviously new Fallout content is coming out soon as well. So don't forget to subscribe for that. But as I was saying, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe and comment and I'll see you guys next time.